Okay, today we're going to go over the worksheet that goes with video number one for the greetings and farewells in German. If you haven't seen the video yet, you can go ahead and click up here in the little box, and there you can find the video that this worksheet accompanies. And without further ado, let's get started. First of all, the first section on here says write 10 greetings in German and English. So we'll see how many we can come up with. In the German version, we have the word hallo. Hallo is basically just hi or hello in English. And then number two on the list would be another relatively easy one, guten tag, meaning good day or hello. Then we have guten morgen. Guten morgen is good morning. And then we have the word guten abend. And guten abend is exactly what you would expect it to be. It's good evening. Evening. There we go. Look, I can spell in English. Congratulations, Herr Antrim. Okay, now we've gotten the main ones down. We have hallo, guten tag, guten morgen, guten abend. We also have something called moin, or sometimes known as moin moin, depending on who you talk to and how cutesy they want to be about it. You can basically use that one all day long. We also have one that is servus, which is basically another way of just saying hello. And this one is generally going to be used in Switzerland, southern Germany, that kind of thing. Now, of course, you could also shorten any of these three up here. And you can say guten tag, and you can kind of shorten it down and just take out the guten part and just say guten tag, kind of mumble your words a little bit. It's not necessarily a different greeting, but it's a different way of saying the same greeting. You can do the same thing with guten morgen, where you would say morgen. Again, most people will probably actually wouldn't say that one. Uh, and then you can do the same type of thing with Guten Abend, where you'd say Nabend. Uh, it's basically just trying to slur your words together a little bit faster and try and say things a little bit quicker. Now, in the video, I didn't give you 10 examples of greetings, so if you can come up with some other ones, you can do that. Or if you check it out in the description of the video, there is a link to a Reddit thread where there is a really nice conversation going on about different greetings and farewells that you can use in the German language. So go ahead and click that link down there in the description, and you can check out some of those as well. Now, this part, we're supposed to write down six farewells in German and in English. Obviously, you have the uh, the most famous one, I would say, and that is Auf Wiedersehen. And Auf Auf Wiedersehen just means uh, until we see each other again. Um, literally speaking, in anyway, the Auf meaning until, and then Vida meaning again, Zehen meaning seeing, so uh, until the again seeing, that is, so until we see each other again. Now, it could also just mean goodbye, that kind of thing. It's a little bit more of a formal uh, way of saying goodbye rather than the usual uh, casual ways of saying goodbye. Speaking of casual, the one that I personally like the best, and that is tschüss. Tschüss just means bye, as in the casual thing that you're going to tell your friends, just like, hey, see you later, except for not actually see you later, because there's a different word for that. But tschüss just means bye. It's the easiest one to say. It's the one that I actually taught my daughter how to say, and it works out really well, because it's one syllable, and it's really easy to say tschüss. Now, if you're going to see somebody later on, uh, you can say bis bald. Bis bald just means see you soon, until soon, literally speaking. Then you also have anything that you would say like until tomorrow, bis morgen, or until the day after tomorrow, bis übermorgen, uh, until later, bis später. There's a lot of different things that you can put after bis, uh, until, and then insert whatever kind of a time that you want to add to that. So bis bald, bis morgen, bis übermorgen, bis whatever it is that you want to use there. Now, these here aren't actually greetings, but rather little phrases that might come in handy whenever you're speaking German, especially the basic conversational conversation starters and that kind of thing. If somebody says, hey, usually it's followed by, how are you? How's it going? What are you up to? We start off here with, how are you? And this is the informal one. So we're going to ask, V Gates, and you could add the extra dia to the end of that. V gates or V gates dia. Uh, v gates being a shortened version of V gate s dia. So literally, how is it going for you or how are you doing? Um, v gates. If you want to be a little bit more formal or if you're talking to somebody who you would use the Z form, which we'll talk about in the next video, if you're going to use that, you're going to use V gate is inen. is the formal version, basically the same idea, except this time we have the pronoun inen, which is the formal version in the native case for you. And you, the informal version. So if somebody says, V Gates dia, and you answer that question back, then you would answer at the end of that, and you. 
So if somebody says, hey, how are you? You say, I'm, I'm well, and you? And this is the way that you would say that. You would say, und dir. If you want to do the same thing, but do the formal version, you're obviously going to have to use the same pronoun as you used for the formal version earlier, and you're going to say, und ihnen. In English, whenever you're answering properly, you should say, I'm well, so instead of saying, I'm good. Uh, there's a semantics argument there, but let's just leave it at, you're supposed to say, I'm well. But if you're going to say that in German, you have to say, es geht mir gut. Literally speaking, it goes me well. If you want to use bad or poorly instead, so just replace the word gut with schlecht. Es geht mir schlecht. Or you could technically say, mir geht's schlecht. It's going bad for me, something like that. If you were sick and you're officially getting better or something like that, you might use the word besser. Es geht mir besser. I'm doing better. In the chance that you want to try and be funny a little bit and you want to say, I'm dying, you would say, ich sterbe. I am dying. Ich sterbe. If you're saying that I'm tired, you would say the same thing of I am, and that would be ich bin, I am. And then if you want to say I am tired, ich bin müde, ich bin müde. And you can add other adjectives there as well, ich bin müde, ich bin krank, I'm sick, or other adjectives. If you just kind of Google something, generally those type of adjectives are going to be used with ich bin uh, followed by that adjective. Wonderfully, you would just say wunderbar. Wunderbar is pretty widely known here in the U.S. at least for wunderbar and meaning wonderful. Now this next section says to write a short dialogue between two characters using the vocabulary that you've learned so far from this video. You should include a greeting, a farewell, and both characters should have some kind of a conversation about how they're doing. If you were to do this, let's say that person A says hello. You can say guten tag, or you can say hallo, or servus, or any other myriad of different types of examples of greetings. And person B here is going to say something along the lines of hallo, and then maybe they're going to follow it up with wie geht's dir? We're going to make these people informal. Person A then responds with something along the lines of es geht mir gut. Danke. Wie geht dir? You could of course just say wie geht's dir instead of saying wie geht's dir. You could say uh, und dir and you. But person B is then going to respond with Ich bin müde. I'm tired. And then person A might come back and say something like Aw, schade. Like, oh, that's too bad. And then just say Tschüss, allowing that person to go home and take a nap. And so person B says Ciao. Tschüss, ciao, bis später, auf Wiedersehen, bis zum nächsten Mal, Dankeschön, und so weiter. If you like this video, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to see the next video in the German with Puppets series, you can find that right here in that little box. And if you want to see the next video of the grammar explanation videos, you can see that in this box here. Thanks for watching. See you next time.